So there's a tiny bit of commercial there. There you go. Stop bugging me about freaking residential for a little while, huh? Uh, okay. What else? What else? That's really the only things that are holding us up, to be honest. That and more tourism transit stuff. But I, until the city hall goes up, you know, next upgrade, it's it's not much we can do about that. Um. Oh yeah, I did have an idea for the industrial. To go here, let's say. Oh, that's a that's a safe road. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's fine. Um Why is it so crooked, though? What have I done here? Oh my god. is not a work of art at all. It's terrible. Why is it... Why is it doing... Alright, that's a little better. <laughs> Alright, so let's just, like, make this an area of industry. And... That will hopefully appease some of that, the, the people worried about that. I won't put it on this side, I'll just throw some random commercial there, how about that? Okay, so that should help the industry demand go down. And all these people are moving in, and once this turns like into medium and then... Um, um, freaking uh, high maybe eventually then that demand will go down hopefully hmm I could upgrade these roads to high density huh that might not be a terrible idea Yeah, things are already getting upgraded. All right, that'll that'll get some upgrades going down there. Man, this factory's moved in fast. It's good though, it's good. Let's look at this now. Yeah, that demand's down, this demand's almost none, but oh my gosh, there's just so much demand. There's just not enough room for these many people. These many people, wow, good job, John. This many people. Um, what's going on here? This is in the red? Just because there's so much of it? You gotta be kidding me. Make sure there's enough workers. Is that what the problem is? We've got more factories and businesses than we have workers? That's kind of a problem, isn't it? 
ironically. All right, so it's gonna have to be this area then. No, we did this before and you set fire to half the town. So, no, you cannot have a fireworks display. <laughs> oh my god. That, that was a terrible idea last time. Alright, so these, these things are upgrading. Let's speed that process up. Look at some of these places that are getting quite large. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, let's take a quick look at everything. So power... Hmm. What, what about unpowered buildings? Oh. Oh, power is running out. Power is running out um, because of the expansions, I guess. Okay. Well, no. Uh, can I do any more on this place? I do like one more. Guess I could make this road go a little longer. Whoops. Not really going to help us at all, is it? Okay. All right. That's got to be a lot of wind turbines right there. Hey, James, welcome to the stream. How you doing? All right, did that help the power situation? It did. Some buildings aren't getting power. I think it's just because they're new, right? Yeah, there we go. Everything's fine. Stop, stop complaining. Yes, I know there are other power options we could go with now. As a matter of fact, if we start getting low again, we'll probably replace this one with the solar one. But we'll see. That's a lot of freaking turbines down there. What's going on here? No, I'm not building a tower for Dr. Vu and his evil henchmen. Um, okay. I'll schedule another event. Alright, we're making 5000 an hour without upping the taxes, so that's good. Oh, wait, we, we, hold on, hold on. We got over 30,000 people all of a sudden. Our freaking population doubled in a hurry. <laughs> Upgrade, please. You're at Walmart? Nice. Find anything cool? Say hi to Ryan for us. Um, okay, so that means that I can now add one more building. Department of Safety, we can get bigger things with that, but I think Department of Transportation has got to be where it's at. So, boom. And then let's look at mass transit. 
Park and ride. Bus terminal. Double decker bus terminal. Okay, I think I think what we're gonna wanna go with is this one. Because we can upgrade it. It says regional buses can drop off and pick up tourists here. I think that's the one we're gonna want. We have to figure out where we're gonna put this. Well we already have mm, excuse me. <laughs> As I die slightly. We already have that one, but maybe we could get away with having another one to just have this up here <laughs> to take out all this commercial that I added up here but it was kind of unnecessary commercial anyway to be honest um yeah what is maglev uh we're not approved for that yet that's after we do that other thing but you get the like floating trains or whatever we can also do like boats and crap too, which is kind of cool. Hey CJ, how you doing? What is up? What is up? Can I add this? That's a weird spot for that to go. Not connected to freaking anything. Just right there, huh? How would that do me the slightest bit of good? I don't know. I'm not gonna do it yet, because I haven't even upgraded this thing. And I feel like that might be important. To throw one more of these bad boys on there. All right, it's already working. It uses the same bus stops as the other one. So that's going to help traffic. It's going to help tourism. Very good, very good. And let's build up some money again because I need money. Doing amazing? That's good to hear. I'm doing okay. I, uh, I've been pretty, pretty productive today, I think. <laughs> this is going quite well right now. Something, the bottom's gonna fall out here at some point. Uh, let's get through one more, one more hour here. Uh, got me a new iPhone XR from an iPhone 6S, paid off from savings. Nice, good for you. That's great. Um, okay, and we've got, this is gonna happen at night, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all expanding pretty nicely. Um... I think what we're gonna wanna do is throw down another, I know we've got two, but like, oops. let's just throw down like another fancy park. Plum Bob Park, that could be cool. Um, well, I don't wanna got a bunch of homes to make this happen but mm. well, these are little tiny homes that are not the most consequential so boom yay we did it all right and that should make everybody real happy and up the value of everything that's good yeah this immediately starts upgrading when i do that so that's good so is this okay beautiful beautiful now let's look at our demands again Low is non-existent, medium starting to go down, high is still around because we don't really have much. 
A little bit of commercial, very little industry. All right, I'm 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 happy right now. Uh, yeah, it's a Ghostbusters remix by E-Rock playing. It's up at the top of the screen. You can see the name. Speaking of savings, how much is a Switch? 300 A Switch wheel. Well, now, bear in mind the whole Switch wheel thing. It's just using the motion control of the Joy-Con. It's just a plastic wheel to hold it in place. Um, it doesn't have any, like, extra features or anything. What I would recommend for me personally to, to anybody is to just save it for a Pro Controller because Pro Controllers are so nice, so much nicer than those Joy-Cons that are really, really well, you know. They're, kind, they're too small for me, the buttons and the, and the joysticks, but if, if you have smaller hands, then I guess it doesn't matter. But the Pro Controller is, I think, $60. Yeah, depending on where you get it. Most controllers are nowadays, to be honest. Actually, I think an Xbox One Elite controller is like 80 or $90, which is absurd. They would probably... Well, GameStop is kind of... They typically have things a little more expensive. I would check if you could on like Amazon, especially if you could find a third-party one. I don't usually suggest third-party stuff, but there are some good third-party... Um, Switch Pro controllers that you can find that are usually like 30 40 bucks. So that's always an option. Yeah, so if you have big hands, like I have like giant spider hands, <laughs> um, it, you definitely want uh, you definitely want the Pro controller then because the Joy Cons are just so tiny. They're so tiny. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're using them individually, but even when they're together mounted on the little controller piece they give you, it's just, it's uncomfortable for me. So, yeah, Pro Controller is definitely what you're going to want. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting distracted. Oh, wait, we went under 30,000 population. What happened? We got our upgrade because we got over 30,000. Now we're under it again. Is it because all these buildings are getting upgraded and they kicked all the people to the curb? <laughs> I think that's what happened. Oh, well, the population will go up once these things finish. That's, that's fine. <laughs> I think they kicked all the people out. They're like, get out. We're bulldozing your house and we're putting up apartments. Man, look at these high-level ones. Look at this. Oh, they're so nice. I mean, think about where we started. This was where we started. This was where we first put down our first roads was right here off of this main highway. And look how this has grown. Isn't that just amazing? Really cool, really cool. But our money went way down too, and I'm not happy about that. Don't remove my home, John. Okay, well, I think... Yeah, okay, look. Remember this spot that was too small for upgrades right next to the park? There's still the little trailer and the little bungalow right next to the beach. And it'll always be there because it's too small to upgrade. <laughs> they just... They live right out here at the beach and no one can ever take their land from them. I mean, it's only like 12 feet of land, but nobody can ever take it away from them. <laughs> These people too, like they, it, there's not enough space for an upgrade here either, and they're just always gonna live here in their little bungalow. It's pretty, pretty great, really. Noise pollution doesn't matter. No, the only pollution that matters is the ground pollution. Which, do we have any? Oh, there is an abandoned building. What? This is abandoned. This is a big building. Not enough freight shipments. Oh. That's kind of an odd problem to have. Um, where's the... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoops. What do we got here? Health. What's what's going on? Why are people sick? Um, many sick or injured sims. 
Well, I mean, I guess I, I didn't I already upgrade this pretty far though? Oh, it's at yeah, capacity. That's, that would be why. All right, well, we'll add, uh, we'll add some more of these. Get one more, uh, Oh, that'd destroy a house for that ambulance. Not right now. I'll just max out capacity of this little hospital. And then we'll, maybe our next big upgrade, we'll get the big fancy hospital going or something. I don't know. Whenever we can get upgrade again. <laughs> Goodness knows when that'll be. <laughs> I hope we're not in a death wave. I hope that that was just a small temporary problem. I'm kind of really tempted to try to do the boat thing, though. I don't know if it would help us at all. What's going on with education? They need more schooling? Well, we've got... We've got the grade school. And we've got the, the community college. Which I suppose they could probably use an upgrade, too, huh? I'd have to take out a lot of buildings to make that happen, though. Where's a cruddy little area that I could n knock out? Uh, it's not really cruddy, is it? Maybe here? No. Okay, here's just a couple. No, that's taken out way too much. I don't like that. That's too far away, I guess. I'm just yeah, it's too far away. Um, hmm. I don't take out that many buildings. Kind of silly. Well, yeah, I have to upgrade City Hall again to get the education bump, though. That's the unfortunate side effect of the choices we've made. Hmm. You can just put it down here. Boom. There you go. It's just down here, because why not? Um, okay. Wait, did I, uh... Did I get all of the bus stop things that I could get going here. Let's just make sure that everywhere is nice and covered. Oh yeah, this stuff isn't covered at all. Um, this area, this new area wasn't. So that needed to be addressed. Okay, that's better. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Nobody can attend college because they don't go to high school. There's plenty of people attending college, okay? Just calm down. Plenty of people attending college. All right, here. Have some school bus that I forgot to give you, okay? You're fine now, chill out. That doesn't need school buses. Like pretty much everywhere else that needs it has it, right? All right. Yeah, we need to get the Department of Education. The only way we can get the Department of Education is upgrade City Hall. We can't upgrade City Hall again until we get 75,000 residents. And for some reason, we fell from 32 down to 29 now. Hmm. There's not really a whole lot more room we can do stuff like that. We don't accept immigrants in Fitchburg. 
Only the palest and so Aaron, don't spread racist propaganda in my chat. Squeeze a few more people out here. About the best I can do, really. They're not gonna want to live over here because it's freaking Factoryville. Here, I'll give you some shops right there. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> not that you really wanted that. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot more space for things. I guess over here, put some houses. Um, how are we going to connect in here without destroying all the things? I guess we could do it like that. No, 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 no. Throw in some more places there, I suppose. Uh, now I have to put more bus things. about it inevitably. There. All right. 